Hello friends, welcome to Infinity GP channel. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to the channel to see more cricket related contents. Finally, the much awaited The Ashes series started with the first test at the Gabba. It is a new era for Australia with Pat Cummins becoming Australia's 47th test captain while Alex Carey is the 461st Australian test player after receiving his baggy green from Adam Gilchrist this morning. It is a big series for Joe Root who admits this Ashes could define his captaincy. England have won the toss and elected to bat first but the big shock is in selection. No Jimmy Anderson or Stuart Broad. Not since Boxing Day 2006 has England played an Ashes test without both men. Joe Root said it was a difficult decision to leave Broad out. It is overcast, the pitch has a green tinge and some moisture. Pat Cummins said he wasn't bothered either way but would have probably batted first. It is a big day for Ben Stokes on return to international cricket for the first time since July, and his thoughts are with his late father who passed away a year ago. Mitchell Stark has cleaned up Rory Burns' first ball bowling the left-hander around his legs. He's the first man in 85 years to strike in the first ball of an Ashes. Rory Burns now holds the record for the most ducks by a test opener in a calendar year. England have rarely started well at the Gabba. Josh Hazelwood continues his great form from the T20 World Cup picking up Dawood Malin in a wicket maiden. Alex Carey takes his first test catch. Joe Root made 1455 test runs this year, but he didn't add to it today with Josh Hazelwood removing the England captain with a superb delivery that just decked away to catch the outside edge and David Warner took a simple catch at slip. Pat Cummins gets England's talisman Ben Stokes in an eventful first over after drinks. Stokes was squared by a root of a delivery from around the wicket. Marnus Labouchain takes a superb catch at slip diving to his left. Haseeb Hamid has stood firm and found an ally in Ali Pope to get to lunch without further loss. England were 59 for 4 in 26 overs. Pat Cummins gave himself the first over after the interval and took Haseeb Hamid's edge. Joe's Butler and Ollie Pope have been able to stall Australia's momentum after the loss of Haseeb Hamid just after lunch. Butler's bravery against Josh Hazelwood was impressive lofting him over the offside and down the ground four times for two fours and two threes when England scored just three singles against him in seven overs in the morning session. Pope has been busy and proved the perfect foil for Butler rotating the strike regularly. However, just when it looked like Butler may thrive on his nothing-to-lose attitude, Starks landed one across and Australia had their opening. Cummins then threw the ball to Cameron Green, who had been given a brief bowl before lunch but was still waiting for that first test wicket 46 overs into his career. With the first delivery of his second spell, he sent down a bouncer at Pope, who couldn't keep the hook down and it was brilliantly caught at long leg by Hazelwood. There was a mixture of delight and relief on Green's face. The rest was over in the blink of an eye. Pat Cummins cleaned up the tail. England all out for 147. Cummins claimed his first Ashes 5 wicket haul 5 for 38. And walking off the field with the ball held aloft. A thunderstorm then washed out the early part of the final session to pour salt into a gaping wound, as England were given no chance at redemption with the ball. A wet outfield and bad light combined to end the day's play. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share and comment on what kind of cricket related videos you are looking for. 